What's up, Booty Brigade? Absolutely love doing these 10 minute workouts with you and I love the feedback. So thank you for sharing your journey, your results. Make sure to check in with us every single week and tell us how you're doing so that we can give you feedback, tips and tricks along the way, or just focus on being positive and in a nice, good routine. So love to hear from you. Make sure to join us in the Booty Bands and Barbells Facebook group. All right, let's dive into it. Today's workout is going to be pelvic floor strengthening exercises, which is all done on the floor, so you can call it a lazy day, um, but also the best burn of your life in your booty. We're also gonna be tightening that tummy as well, so booty and abs today is the focus. Um, this is great for women that have been mothers, that have children, and they just want to just kind of take all of their innards and just strengthen it and lift it up and pull everything nice and tight again. Um, this is also great for if you haven't even been a mother and you just wanna focus on having a better sex life down there. This can help create more sensation down there and in turn, be very rewarding for you. So, win-wins all along, let's get started. Grab your booty band. Okay, so we're gonna get started with a brand new one. Excited to show you because it's just unlimited of all the hundreds and different workouts. Hundreds and almost, I don't know, can we say thousands at this point of different workouts that we can do with the booty bands. So we're gonna take the foot all the way back behind us. So the top leg, your hips are stacked. My front leg is slightly bent, um, my bottom leg, and my top leg's behind me straight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swoop it up into like a J, bringing it up towards the ceiling right up over my hips, bring it down and back. So again, drawing that J. Here we go, and if you haven't started, you're missing out on the best workout of your life. Come on, 10 minutes, no excuses. You got this, girl. Now in this position, just kind of check your form. Is your elbow right up over, right underneath your shoulder? Is your core nice and tight? Your chest is lifted? And again, don't hold your breath. You wanna make sure you're breathing. If up on your elbow is a little bit uncomfortable, you can bring it down and lay like this. You should be feeling your booty at this point. If you're not, you can go ahead and grab a little heavier band. But we are just having a nice warm up so you don't wanna go too crazy right now. Just feeling the booty. Good, now switch to the other side. Again, make sure that leg is just going straight up over that other foot. Good, next one you're gonna lie all the way flat down onto your back, still keeping the booty band on. First one, your legs are gonna be straight, then you're gonna bend your legs, your feet are gonna go along with your knees. Making it a little bit harder, you can bring that band up a little bit closer to the knees. All right, so here we go, straight and bend. All right, great work. So now warm up is over. Let's go ahead and now dive into a little bit of a heavier band. Either level two or level three will be great. Okay, one that is absolutely phenomenal for the pelvic floor is going to be the bridge. So same position, lying down onto your back. You wanna focus on bringing those feet nice and close to your booty, not too far that you're in your toes though. Your heel's gonna be the biggest emphasis and you wanna make sure your feet are about hip distance apart. Press those heels into the ground, squeeze your glutes, lift up. As you lift up, you want to press your knees out against the band. Yes, best booty burn of your life right here. Lower down and up and out. Good, nice good motion as you come down and up. Keep pushing against that band making it so that your medius and your minimus are working at the same time as your maximus. So you're actually targeting all three areas of your glutes right here. And if you are doing this with me, you know exactly what that burn is feeling like right now, right? Am I right? Oh my gosh. 
Good, stay there with me, you're doing awesome. Good, now you're just gonna keep one foot down and the other foot's gonna go up into the air. Again, you wanna make sure that you're pushing into that heel, down and up. Try to draw a straight line from your knee all the way to your shoulders when you're up in that pose here. Some people like to kind of swing and go there, that's fine too. Good. Next foot, replace and go. Lift your toes up slightly, feel it in the heel. That puts it into the glutes. Awesome work. And of course you're strengthening your whole pelvic floor as we're doing this, yay. All right, next one is you're just gonna sit in this position, keep your chest nice and high as you kind of arch your back. Feet come together as you're just gonna pulse into those abductors. We're gonna do a little burnout, nice and fast. Don't stop, don't stop. That burn is absolutely just making that booty perky. It's getting it more lifted, more round, more firm. You love it, you love that burn. Oh my gosh, a little faster. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, who knew such a band could create such, such burn. Awesome, let's go right into our abs. So here we're gonna go into our dead bug, keeping that band on. You're just gonna go ahead and take, let's just do this together. So your right leg goes out and your opposite arm, left arm guards goes back. Keeping your lower back flat onto the mat and the belly button is pulled towards the spine. And now switch to the other side. So opposite hand, opposite leg, go nice and slow. You don't have to go fast. Now you don't wanna be cheating. Don't bring your knees in like this. Keep them up over your hips, okay? Slow. Feel your pelvis right here. Are you feeling some, some great strengthening in this area? Focus in that area. Good. Now, a little bit at a time, kind of pulsing yourself out and so you're starting to lengthen with each rep. Never letting that lower back arch. And then bring it back in. Little pulses. Good, one more time. Start small. Make your way a little bit longer. Good, hug those knees in and just rock side to side. You're doing awesome. All right, you ready for another booty round? Oh, I am. Okay, so let's go into the kickback. So just now go ahead and flip over. We're gonna go on to your, your tabletop position here. Okay, doesn't matter which a leg you start off with. I'm gonna start with my right. And what you wanna do is when you kick back, you don't just kick back with your legs together. So when you're kneeling, you wanna kinda of open your legs more of a hip distance position and kick out still keeping that hip distance position so you're still putting that constant tension onto those glutes. Good, keep that spine nice and straight, look right down at the ground and core tight and breathe. Awesome. Now take that same right leg and you're just gonna curtsy it over the other leg. 
So bring in that knee over and across the other knee. You're gonna bring it up and you're gonna go into a hydrant. Let me show you again, here we go. Up and hydrant. Good, now just pulse here for the hydrants, just take it out. And I think you can see I'm at absolute elf failure. I can't do another round on that one. So now, that means go to the other side. Left leg, open those legs up, here we go. Okay, bring it across, up and out. Now hold here. burning and already sweating. So proud of you. We're gonna end with just some little pulses. You're gonna bring it all the way down to the mat. Your feet are gonna come together. Your heels are. Your toes are gonna be kind of pointed out in an angle. <clears throat> what you're gonna do here is not work your back, just your glutes. So remember, only go up to where your glutes are activating. Your knees are out and your, your heels are together. You're gonna lift, squeeze those glutes, and bring it down. We're gonna go for pulsing, so fast, and as many reps as we can. Here we go. Anybody else sweating so far? All right, great, we're gonna finish off with our last ab. So this is going to be our bird dog. So you're just gonna take one arm with the opposite leg, reaching it out, and in, squeeze. Finding that balance. Lengthening. Slowing it down. Making the core work. Good, now just hold. Feel your core just shake as you hold. Find the balance. Good, other side. Awesome, time to hold. Lift that leg higher. Keep everything parallel to the floor. Feel you shaking a little bit. That's just getting you balanced. And come on down, bring it down. Beautiful. Keep the feet together as you go ahead and bring the booty over to this one side of your legs and reach the other direction. Nice, good deep breath. And switch sides. Booty over to the other leg, other side of the legs. Reach in the opposite direction. Beautiful.
beautiful. And add any other stretches that you feel like you would like to at this time. This is where you're like a little cat cow. Oh my gosh, take some time and do that. If you feel like you'd like some, make sure to check out the app where there's tons and tons of stretching and you can add that in at this point. But again, I gotta keep it under 10 minutes. So that way, oh, I went over. Oh. All right, you guys, love you lots. Thanks again for seeing it, for coming. Oh my, I'm sweating and my butt's on fire. Can't even talk right. See you in the group. Bye everyone. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great, and your new transformation can start today.